So discrete discrete time stochastic processes are hello. Discrete time stochastic processes are where the time is uh, obviously discrete. It doesn't have here of course the way I have written it's uh, multiples of t but it could be sampled at uh, arbitrary time instance too. So let's just uh, uh, so a stochastic process is uh, 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 defined for let's say integer values both positive and negative so this is 0 Then of course the mean of the process is like this x of nt and if the process is not white sun stationary generally it will be a function of n uh, and the autocorrelation function is rxx uh, n comma m this is expected value of x expected value of x of t uh, m of t right? and if the process is white sun stationary this is a constant this depends on, uh, so, uh, and you know the strict and stationarity, of course, the same. Uh, you take one random variable, it should not be a function of uh, uh, the time index. So, why it's and stationary would mean expected value of x of nt is a constant, and the autocorrelation function. So, remember, look here, it generally depends on n and m. Uh, here, uh, this would be. Uh, a function of uh, uh, n minus m. So this would be expected value of x of n t and x of n plus k t would be only a function of uh, n minus m or m minus m. So this is going to be r x x k. Uh, so, how do you get that property? Again, I showed you last time. If you look at y, which is summation a i x of uh, t i, expected value of absolute value of y squared. Hello? You can see why the star is coming in. Look at here. This is a random variable because I'm adding a bunch of random variables, right? So expected value of y squared is expected value of summation a i x of t i absolute value squared expected value. So to expand the absolute value, I need expected value of two terms, right? This, this is what I mean by this is y, y star, y is summation a i x of t i, this is summation a j x of t j star, t j, i equal to 1 through n, j equal to 1 through n. So if I pull the summations outside, i equal to 1 through n, j equal to 1 through n, I have a i a j star, then I have expected value of x t i, x star t j, but this is r x x uh, t i comma t j. So we have the property that uh, if I call an r like this, it doesn't matter what the auto hello autocorrelation function is. The autocorrelation function always satisfies this a transpose r a. To be so, what we have shown is an autocorrelation satisfies this property. What I have not shown is if you go if you start with a function which is harder, where, which satisfies this property, you can generate a stochastic process that also can be easily shown. But so, so it's it is if and only if. So, if an autocorrelation function is uh, um, um, if a, if you suspect an autocorrelation function to be uh, if you suspect this to be the autocorrelation function, then it must satisfy this property. So it doesn't matter whether it is in the discrete domain or continuous domain. So if x of t, x and t, we must have 
uh, this property, right? R transpose A, R translates to this is R i j, R i j is R n minus m, right? Or i minus j. By this is suppose it is also white and stationary. I am saying. Remember somewhere here we proved the white and stationary only depends on n minus m so this is your n minus m so let me just draw this matrix uh, so that uh, and for to write it let me call this entry to be r i minus j i'm just going to put a subscript at the bottom just for notational convenience then how will this matrix look like anybody in the discrete so for a discrete stochastic process which is white and stationary, let's look at the autocorrelation matrix. What will be the entry here? Okay, here. So let, let me write this as either way. Let, suppose my convention is J minus I, then this would be R2, etc., Rn. This would be R1 star, R0, R1, etc. And this matrix must be for by the same reasoning, non-negative definite. But this matrix, look at this, has the property that all the diagonal entries are the same. So such a mat, it's also symmetric. So such a mat is uh, toplets, and it is Hermitian. Uh, so in parallel, you can look at the linear algebra. What are the properties of the toplets matrices? What are the properties of Hermitian non-negative? Uh, so this is non-negative definite. So you need to work on a couple of fronts at the same time, right? You can see how linear algebra is getting uh, important, right? So look, I can state uh, now that if a discrete time stochastic process is also white and stationary, then its autocorrelation matrix has this toplet structure and it is Hermitian. You can see R1, this entry is the complex conjugate transpose of this. So R has the property that R transpose conjugate is the same. And it is also non-negative definite because of this property. So all this is true. And uh, very quickly, what happens if you apply such a system to A linear, so in this case, the system will be a linear time invariant system it will be uh, will be represented by an impulse response, which will be like this, right? So this is your H of n, a discrete time system, right? So we can use the earlier relations. You should be able to show, remember we had, so mu x of n uh, goes through the system, right? Uh, to generate mu y of n. So this is still true, mu x of n, convolve, discrete time convolution with h of n, right? The output response. So if the input is uh, constant mean, you can from here, output also is constant mean. And we had, uh, So what we had before also is true, h star of minus n2, right? or this is rxy or rxx, right? n comma m, and then this is uh, uh, h star of what? Minus m, right? Gives you rxy n comma m. And this when pass through H of N it gives you R Y Y N comma M. So the bottom line is uh, you, you know how to write this up. 
The cross correlation function is the input auto correlation convo function convolved with S star of minus m. And the output auto correlation function is uh, input auto correlation, I mean the cross correlation convolved with the system transfer function. And uh, in the way I derived the continuous case, you can also show that uh, if x of t, x of n is so white sun stationary, uh, then of course mu x is a constant, r x x only depends on one variable, right? k or n minus m. I'm going to write this as r of k or x of k. Uh, then you see mu y is of course a constant, right? Another constant because it is uh, mu x convolved with the summation of all the h k's. That's the constant. You see that? Because this is convolved with this. But since this is a constant, that goes outside and, and Rxy, from here, uh, this is already n minus m, so, right? I'm sorry, this was only h star of m. But this is n minus m and we go through this, so this should give you So this is R x x of k passing through h star of minus k. You remember the expression here? If you don't remember, I should. So R x, for example, R x y n comma m, if you do it, this should turn out to be summation R x y n comma m, I think h star of m, that's what it would come, right? r y y n comma m would turn out to be summation on So if the input is white sense stationary, this becomes Oh yeah, there is a, a convolution on the second one. So the, in terms of summation, what will it be? Right, minus some k, h k, right? So similarly, this will be. And if it is white sun stationary, this becomes n minus m plus k. So that so that will be the uh, k is again bad because I use this. So, yes. All right. So if it is white sun stationary, this becomes n minus m. So n minus m is what I'm calling k. So this is this will become R X Y so R X Y N M is R X X N comma M minus L the convolution is on the second variable so this is right so this redu reduces to K plus L H star L so which is what I started writing so that is this convolution this produces R X Y of K so the cross correlation function is uh, jointly white sun stationary and from here you can see if the cross correlation is jointly white sun stationary this becomes uh, r x y a k minus s h of s right because n minus m is k so this would be the convolution on the sec uh, on just k so and this gives us r y y k so we have the relations which I R X Y. So bottom line is everything is white sun stationary as before. And if you want, you can write like this, right? Right? 
It's okay, I now changed, I changed my mind. I put n here, it's all dummy variable. If I put here n here, this will be n, which is what I wrote. And similarly, r y y n is r x y n convolved with h of n. And you can write this as r x x n convolved with h of n convolved with h star of minus n. So you can see if the input is white and stationary, the cross correlation function is white, uh, they are jointly white and stationary, and the output is white and stationary also. So the process is white and stationary, output process, whether in the continuous domain or the discrete domain.